Rescue Ace. Let's do Rescue Ace. There's no video for Max Reynolds Rescue Ace, but they've posted it on Twitter. Uh, let's see. The other one, let's see if this deck profile... Look at Rescue Ace really quick. Hola chicos, eh, soy Héctor Pérez y acabo de hacer top 32 en el YCS de Cancún. Eh, yo jugué Rescue Ace y este me. Bueno, por la. Did you see Hoban's profile and his POV about Fenrir being the auto include in every deck? I think we're coming to this point in the next format. We can watch it in a bit. I haven't seen it. Juego doble Nibiru, eh, más que nada porque juego un crossout. O sea, juego cruzote, entonces es para banearlo si es que hago el combo y después tener otro y contra un Shaynet es bueno, pero igual pueden hacer combo. Las Ash y en este caso un Impermanence por el cruzote también. La línea de Rescue oh, es un old deck un profile, okay. diferente. Pues en este caso jugué dos Turbulence, dos Preventer, eh, tres Hidrantes, un Impulse y Lifter. Honestly, uh, out of all the meta decks right now, I think I know the least about Rescue Ace. I haven't really looked into Rescue Ace um, pretty much at all yet. Let's just actually, you know what, this this deck, because and that's why uh, I'm I'm interrupting the deck profile because it's like it's probably a good deck profile, but I don't speak Spanish and I I'm not even confident I know exactly what all the cards do, so I'm not really getting much out of this right now. Let's just uh. Let's quickly just look at Max Reynolds' uh, deck. I'm, I'm just going to build it. And we're going to read the cards. Um, bu -bu 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 okay. Uh, rescue Ace. All right. So you play three airlifters. One fire engine in this list, uh, three fire, three hydrants, three impulse. I know this one is the Havness. Two turbulence and two preventer. One headquarter. Uh, rescue ace. So you play three of the tele the emergency teleport. One one. This one and this one. All right? This is all the rescue ace cards they were using. And then of course, because it's 2023, they used three prosperities. Ash Blossom. Ben Rear. Nibiru. Ibli. Ibli in the main deck is interesting. I don't see that one very often. Imperm. Called by. And Rhoda. So this is Max Reynolds' list. This is Max Reynolds' list. So let me just very quickly go over it. And also look at the one card combo, honestly. Uh, let's get the extra deck too. Pazlomino. Almirage. Gigantic Sprite. This is how they get to... <laughs> this is how they get to the Ibli, by the way. They make Pazlomino, right? To make a level 2 monster. This is rank 2, so you make another monster level 2 with it. And then you get to Gigantic. Uh, it's... Uh, yeah, phenomenal. And this is one of the decks that can make Dweller. This is one of the decks that can make Dweller. So, like, if you're playing uh, Unchained... Oh, no, it's not the wrong one. Link Kuribo. It's kind of crazy that we're not playing... I'm just noticing this while going through. Rescue Ace, I think, is a deck that has a decent amount of, like, extra deck space. Uh... And we're still not playing an uh oh no we, we are playing a normal summon for oh beat cop beat cop alert 
Sunlight Wolf and IP Mascarina. I was about to say we're not playing a way to link off Ibli when we normal summon it, but we have Almarash. Never mind. I was chatting. All right. Um. I'd say most of this, most of this, if not everything, transfers pretty well into this upcoming format. I can't really judge the ratios on the Rescue Ace cards. Um, yeah, I, 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 I won't. But the rest, it seems like it would translate, right? You have the Rescue Ace package, you have Prosperity, you, you, you're you going to keep playing Ash. Fenrir remains playable, Nib remains playable, Imperm remains playable. And these, you know, it, it, so it looks like a very solid baseline for Unchained. Like, it, it honestly looks like, it honestly almost looks like uh, Unchained, uh, Rescue Ace kind of builds itself, right? I don't think it's, lo it's logical to play th 3 Fenrir with 3 Impulse. So, okay, so Impulse... When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field quick effect, you contribute this card from your hand or face up field to special summon a machine rescue ace from your deck. You know what I think about rescue ace impulse? I think very, very, very often the good players will not use it on the opponent's turn. I think they will wait to use it on your own turn. Simply because you don't want to play into thrust, right? A hand trap that puts a monster onto the field is very dangerous and i think very often you keep it for your own turn and i think that's why fenrir is okay right i think that's why it's fine is when you go second you draw impulse and fenrir you just wait you don't do it and then uh you just go special fenrir start playing your opponent activates a monster effect you go activate impulse for a free uh, emergency teleport right i think that's what's happening a lot All right, chat. Uh, can we very quickly, just so we're all on the same page, is there anyone in chat? There's Jordan. Jordan, you know this, right? You know how to do the one card airlifter combo. Can we? Uh, I guess I I might be able to work it out. Let me see. So airlifter, airlifter is a one card combo, right? Let's just let's go this let's go through this uh, one by one. Hold up just so we're we're all familiar with this right in preparation for uh, for dortmund so if this card is normal or special you can add a rescue a spell from your deck to your hand when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field you contribute this card from your hand or face up field special summon a rescue ace from your hand except airlifter okay so pop normal summon effect add a spell card uh we get emergency probably and this one is special summon a rescue ace from your deck in defense position, then tribute a rescue ace from hand or field. All right, so we go, what is it? Hydrant. And Hydrant is while you control a rescue ace monster other than Hydrant, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target this card with effects. Um. During your main phase, you can add a Rescue Ace monster from deck to your hand. Okay, so we need to Tribute Airlifter first. Uh, and then we go Effect. Add a Rescue Ace monster from deck to hand. We just go Turbulence? Because we have two cards in the grave. Ah! Okay, now I get it. We've looked at this before. I, I'm just reminding myself. But... This is why Hydrant is not a one-card combo, right? It's because in this, it, it, you don't have... Uh, you don't have two cards in the graveyard to just special out Turbulence. So Hydrant on its own does not do the Turbulence setup. Alright, special summon Turbulence by banishing two. And then you just use the effect? Do you just use the effect? So the one card combo does not have a way to play around like imperm and shit, right? You don't have like that. You don't have that, right? Uh... 
All right, and then Turbulence is going to set all of these. Which means we have a Rhoda, a Imperm, plus no material, a Pop, and a Reborn. From both graveyards, right? All of them are set. And then we get to activate this because of Hydrant, right? And then we get to add Preventer, which is the new one, right? Preventer is the new dude. Uh, banish a Rescue Ace card from Grave, special summon this card from hand. If you control another Rescue Ace monster, quick effect, target a monster, your opponent. That's Book of Moon. Uh, that's quick effect, Book of Moon. And then, with the one card combo, do you just call it a day here? Is it just like you pass on Book of Moon plus the three back row? No, you can... Oh, we can... We're not done. Okay. Uh, you did miss the unboxing, yeah. But thank you for the two months still. So, Hydrant and Prevent... Ooh, because we can still summon from the Banished pile. Right, no, I see. So, Puzzlomino. And then Airlifter gets summoned by Preventer, right? Because... No, pre pre Preventer. Preventer, if this card is sent to the grave, target a Banished Rescue Ace, except the level 8 special summon it, right? And then Puzzlomino triggers, makes this do the level 2. And then we freaking... We do the cringe thing, right? Right? That's what you do. So what do the genuine question... Because I know that not everyone plays Ibli. What do you do without Ibli? Like, if you don't have Ibli and you are at this stage with Preventer and Hydrant, what is it? What is it like the? What is like the the combo that they do? You're supposed to leave Hydrant on board. Okay, I just followed what Chat said. What's? Why is it better to have Hydrant set than Turbulence? Oh, the traps are only stronger if you have Hydrant. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. You go into Sunlight Wolf, add back Preventer, right? So you, you would go... If you don't want an Ibli, you could do something like this. This this right and then you can make appalooza you can make ip i suppose apparently there's terahertz combos okay the one thing i will say that i kind of like about ibli uh well there's there's nothing i like about ibli <laughs> first of all but the thing that I, I, I'm, what I understand about it, like why, why I understand that you want to play it is that I heard from a lot of people that their solution to rescue ace is to simply like clear all the back row with something like lightning storm or evenly matched, right? You just activate those cards and the deck seems really weak to it from like the setup I'm seeing here. It's like, you know, most of your setups are pretty weak into lightning storm or evenly matched, right? And Ibli answers both of those questions, right? And that's uh, both of those problems, I mean. So I could definitely see... I could definitely see why uh, they... Why they want to do Ibli. I'm just not sure if you need to main deck it, right? This was one card, to be fair. Yes, still. 
even if you have four cards left in your hand, like all of the cards left in your hand and deck are rescue ace cards. So if your opponent outs this entire board, like you're out of the, like all of this is one offs, right? You can't really do like a huge turbulence turn again. I'm sure you have other ways of playing the game, but like you're the main thing that your deck does has been like outed if they evenly this, right? You can with the field spell. What does the field spell do? You can target four of your rescue ace cards that are banished in the grave, shuffle them into the deck, draw one card. Okay, that's good. However, when you get even lead, um, a lot of the stuff is banished face down, right? So I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But not, not always possible. Not always possible, right? Better against Lightning Storm for sure. That's that is that is one thing. That is probably the reason why they play the the, the headquarters. It's just like uh you don't have to play multiples of the of the spells and traps you can just recycle them with headquarters that's good no i i don't hate rescue ace the more i'm looking at it i think it's a i think it's a decent deck i i don't think it's like insane i i don't think it's like a crazy strong deck but it's it's looking solid right it's looking solid you can recover easily from a lightning storm i think you can resource wise i think you can recover from a lightning storm the problem is that what else happens on the turn you get lightning storm right like on the turn on the turn you get lightning stormed your opponent is probably like almost completely free to play the game and you're gonna have some problems with that like they're gonna either kill you or set up their own crazy board and then it's not going to be easy for you to get all your resources back right Is it also like this 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 particular version of the deck that I'm looking at right now, right? The Max Reynolds build does not really play any way to protect your turbulence from Imperm or Valor, right? I mean, you have called by for Valor, but that's one card. Like there's no cuz I I remember there was like a line with Proxy F Magician to make like Mud Dragon to make your turbulence untargetable. Right? Those cards weren't popular in Cancun, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just saying moving forward. I'm saying moving forward, uh, like, that. That that's completely fine when everyone is playing Thrust, Talents, Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, right? You don't care, right? Doesn't matter. Um, like, you just resolve Turbulence and win. And that is also why uh, the... That's also why the, the Rescue Ace deck maybe was a good call for YCS Cancun once again. Because it doesn't seem like this deck is particularly weak to um, books. At least going first, books are not that bad. Going second, maybe you're hurt by books. Maybe it could be a problem. Maybe it's not. Um, but you know, books are books are not not very not very good against it. Uh, Thrust and talents going second, like when 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 this deck sets up. When this deck sets up completely and your opponent is good and uses their spell and traps first as interruptions, uh, it's going to be very hard to trigger thrust and talents, right? You basically need to force out the Book of Moon from uh, from Preventer to, to, to use your thrust or talents. But if they have freaking three other disruptions first, Right. Eclipse outs Ibli and turns off Rescue Ace Traps. I guess Eclipse is fine. Yeah, Eclipse is fine because it books everything. Book of Moon is not good enough, right? Book of Moon is not good enough. But but I can see I can see Eclipse being good, yeah. But you can reborn to turn on the traps, right? You can still just reborn. Yeah. Or emergency, depending on what. Uh, Ulysses, thank you for the five months. And uh, I am doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Turbulence second effect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, what is turbulence second effect? If another card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, target a card in the field, destroy it. Also a good bonus effect to have. But well, yeah.
What's the point from using Ibli if cash is gone? Well, I mean, the thing is, you have to play something in your extra deck. Like, you have to play, like, when you get to the point where you have Turbulence, Preventer, Hydrant on the board, uh, you want to have some line to convert into, right? There's different possibilities, but you want, you definitely want to have some, something, some plan for this, right? You don't want to just leave it like that. Um, and Ibli, I, my personal take is I would probably do this because I think siding Ibli against evenly matched and lightning storm is very good. I don't think you need to main deck it necessarily. Uh, I don't really see a reason to because I don't expect anyone to main deck Duster or Evenly. And it is an awful draw when you go second and also an awful draw when you go first. So I don't know if I if I would main deck the Ibli when I when like going first game one, you can just make like a different opener. Right. But yeah. Like, you could just... Game 1, you could just go for, like, a Heat Soul line. Draw some extra cards. Play some hand traps, right? Like, you know, you you already have good hand traps to draw into. Just make Heat Soul for crazy follow-up and, and, and have hand traps in the back. And then you're just going to be chilling, I think. Um, but Ibli seems like a very good side deck to counter Lightning Storm and Evenly. 